Hi, welcome to another vlog. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Stop! So it is Tuesday. I did not start this vlog on Monday, but it's Tuesday. I thought I would just say what's up. Waffle's kind of being a bad boy, I won't lie. Um, I'm sitting here. I just uploaded my vlog, my last vlog. I'm waiting for some footage to import, so I thought I would come and watch some Netflix. No, HBO Max. Um, I'm watching The White Lotus. It's about to rain. Look at that right there. All that stuff. I went to my parents' house a few days ago and got a bunch of stuff, and I have to organize them. She's gorgeous. Yesterday, I had a chimney guy come, and bitch, let me tell you, it was the most disgusting thing I've ever experienced. The loads of garbage and shit that came out was very much traumatizing. <laughs> I also found out my chimney has water damage on the outside, so that's great. Gonna have to take care of that one. Now I'm gonna organize the shit in the corner. <laughs> Hi guys, what is up? Today's actually Friday. I didn't vlog this week because I just didn't like feel like it. I don't know. So I'm vlogging today. Woke up with a pep in my step. Thought I would vlog. The last couple weeks have been really slow work-wise. Usually I depend on work I get from my clients to keep me in check. But this week I haven't really had any. I had like one project. I was gonna go to the grocery store today, but then I realized it's literally July 30th, which means bills are due soon. So gonna hold off on that and just make Make de bake do with what I have. Let's make some coffee first. La Colombe, best coffee. Should I have two coffees? It's gonna be that kind of day, you guys. I realize I can't sniff creamer for too long or else it'll start smelling like rotten eggs to me. I don't know if you guys experience this. I don't know if it's just me, but in the last like couple months, I've really started to like have a lot of food aversions. Like, I just get grossed out super easily by food. You know what I mean? Like, and that's never happened to me before. Like, I did buy some blueberry waffles last week, so I'm gonna have some of those. So. Okay. This is the only thing I have breakfast wise. I've eaten all my other breakfast foods, which by the way is something that I cherish a lot. Breakfast. Let me talk about what I think we're gonna do today that I'm scared about. Something I've been avoiding since years is going through my closet. And I feel like now is the time to do so. The reason why I avoid it is because I have severe Body, body dysmorphia. I truly don't know what I look like. I look down at my body and I think, okay, I look like this, right? Then I look in the mirror and it's, I'm gaslit. So I don't necessarily know what I look like. And I don't know what I look like in my clothes. And there are some articles of clothing I haven't put on in years because I'm too afraid to put them on. So since the closets are done and I can start putting things in them, and I thought this is probably the best time to go through my closet because I don't exactly know what's in it. And I have a lot of things I haven't worn and I either need to bite the bullet and just wear them more often or just donate them. I am really tired of having clothes in my closet that I bought years ago that I'm holding on to for whatever reason. Oh, also, I haven't bought a single article of clothing in probably three years. I've been wearing the same clothing for years, and it's all like my comfort clothes. I have something called my comfort clothes where it's like I'll wear the same shirt or like pants because I feel comfortable in them and I hold on to them, and even though that they're ripped and shredded, I'll still wear them, so. Yep. It's really sad, but this is a new chapter in my life. I need to just go through my shit and just figure it out. So we're gonna do that today. I have to also give you some house updates too. I forgot to let you guys know about a couple things that I got. I brought some plants in. The plants are looking good, bringing some life to this to this very white colored house. I went to this place called Atlanta Used Furniture and I got this beautiful coffee table. It's Gorgina. I also got this bar cart, which I love. It's like a smoked glass um, golden bar cart. It's very nice. Oh, the swing. The swing in the front is so nice, you guys. I just swing on it all day long.
things are coming together. I just did some living room and kitchen cleaning and now it's time to tackle my bedroom and my closet. I'm scared. I also just ordered Popeyes because I was just like, I don't know. I ordered Popeyes, um, a, 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 a sandwich, okay? I feel like it, I feel like you're my mom and it's 2009 and she just got me clothes and she asked me to do a fashion show for my parents, so. Oh, hi. <laughs> Welcome to my closet. I'm gonna show you my clothes that I have that are like my safe clothes. This shirt right here is one of my safe shirts. This is from Torrid, actually. If you don't know what Torrid is, it's a plus size store that sells clothes for plus size people, but they're so fucking ugly. This shirt right here, this green shirt, was given to me by my friend Anna, fashion brand company by Penelope Gazian. And I love this, except it cuts off like right below my belly, and that's a problem. I mean, not really that it's a, it's not really that it's a problem, it's just, it makes me feel insecure. I'll show you. Oh God, why am I doing this? So this is the shirt. It's like I can't even like pull it down because it just pops right back up. Like, <laughs> it just pops right back up. Um, but other than that, I like this. So if I'm gonna be seen with this on, you best believe I'm putting someone to put something on to cover that. Let me tell you a story about this. I got this from Target probably three or four years ago. This is a large. I swear to God it would fit. I was with one of my friends and she was like, you should try that on before you, you know, buy it. And I thought that was like her saying, you might, it might not fit you cause you know, you're too fat or whatever. So, which is like insane that I thought that, but it ended up not fitting. So I said, I'll just wear I'll this when I lose weight. weight. Fast forward four years later, we're still here. I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna try it on, okay? I love it when you like put something on and you look at your body and you think you look good and then you're like, that's what I look like? It fits, it's just tight. I hate tight things. This is giving me severe uncomfortable. I don't know, I'm just in uncomfortable in clothes. Anything that's on my safe clothes, like I have not, I've only worn this one time and it's when it didn't fit me and I took it off and swore I would only wear it when I was skinny. This top, this is from American Eagle. I got this once again years ago. This is not a safe top. It's like a crushed velvet top that has like cut sleeves. I don't even know. Showing my arms is something that like I hate doing. And it's so like, oh, but I'm gonna do it. Yikes. <laughs> okay, so it fits. But my arms, I can't really see myself in the viewfinder, but I know when I edit this, it's gonna be a disaster because I'm gonna look and go, is that what I look like? So these jeans, these are probably one of my newest purchases. They look kind of big in the camera, cause they are. This is ASOS Plus. I'm gonna put these on and we're gonna see because I haven't worn these in a few, in like a year, probably. All right, so good news is they still fit. I just feel weird in them. I'm not used to wearing stuff like this. I guess like exposure therapy is the only way. Like I look down and I'm like, okay, cute. And then I look in the mirror and it's like, boom, you know? Okay, no, don't get me wrong. I do love my body, but like, I was really starting to like be, be myself, be who, be who you are for your pride. I was really like doing all that. Then the pandemic hit and then I got really comfortable not doing anything and like being lazy. Obviously you couldn't leave the house. And then that's when I started to torture myself. I think I just need to start wearing stuff like this around the house. That's good exposure therapy, right? I'm gonna take a self, self-portrait or self-timer photo because I can't really see what I look like. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Delete that photo. Um, good thing I just ordered fast food. Maybe I'll make a salad with it. <laughs> No, 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 that's toxic. I'm hungry and I was craving it and I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna move on. This top right here actually stresses me out. I got this, no, I got this from a thrift store. My clothes are so sad. Like, so incredibly sad. Oh, <gasps> she's tight. Why does there have to be a butt? It's cute, but no, no, no. Let's just say it's cute. You guys, I think I wanna try on this one. This is a soft and sexy tank from American Eagle that I've never worn because I was too afraid to wear it. So, let's just do it. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Ah! I'm basically naked. I think I'm just gonna wear this around the house until I feel better about it because I feel like that's the only thing I can do. I hate that I feel insecure because we're in the middle of an extreme heat wave right now, like in the South. We're in a heat advisory. It's 95 degrees outside. Heat index values up to 105. Saying that, I should like feel comfortable wearing this because it's so hot out, but like I just wanna wear a hoodie. 
It's dry as hell. You already know the vibes, the, the, the sauce vibes. I guess this is a eat with me. I love to eat and I love eating with people. <laughs> we have the ketchup and then we have the dill pickle mustard from Trader Joe's We always got to have that and then we have a little bit of mayo I know mayo is controversial, but it's fine And then we have some trough and here we have the sauces. You always have to have a plethora of sauces Coleslaw time. I love me some coleslaw. Oh my god a sport. I don't know why I got coleslaw. I just did Interesting don't really know what to think about it, but it's crazy because a couple years ago if you told me I'd be sitting in a tank top eating fast food on camera, I would've been like, no. Okay, editing this back, I know that sounds weird. And very sad. Just forget I said it. That's not the point, forget I said it. Lately my food, my eating habits have been really weird. And I think weird means normal because I, you know, grew up having- Trigger warning, binge eating disorder. Because I grew up having the most unhealthy relationship with food, thinking food was the enemy, always being on diets. And now I found like food freedom, especially since I moved. Like I've been in 100% control of my diet and like I haven't binged or like starved myself or anything like that, which is like insane. Like I literally eat dinner and then I'm done. It might sound so normal and like bizarre that I'm like talking about how like abnormal that is But like I feel like we don't have disordered eating. It can be really hard to like understand I'm gonna be okay after this meal. Yeah, it's fast food, but I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna live This is the driest fucking biscuit. I'm solely speaking on my experience Do not take what I have to say as like your guide to food freedom. Oh giving. Oh giving sog. Oh giving <laughs> Giving been in the pool for too long <laughs> 